What's good, fellas? It's your boy Alex. We out here. You know what we're doing? We're staying hydrated as per usual. EHP Labs AK10. If you guys want to support me, just wanted to quickly say appreciate all you guys for subscribing to my videos, liking, showing love in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say appreciate you guys. Truly, it means a lot. But you got to get more uncomfortable. And I think this is a hard concept to conceive because in today's society in America, everything is formed about being comfortable. You know, we take hot showers, we eat fast food. You know, a lot of people are fat. Like, it's hard to become uncomfortable because the norm is just being comfortable with everything and that's why a lot of people are unhappy with today in society because they're not doing anything that makes them uncomfortable and you know what happens it's when they then are faced with something that does make them uncomfortable they're not going to know how to react how to handle that situation so one of the things i do every single morning to be able to do uncomfortable things every day to help me be more comfortable with my life is i actually take a cold shower every morning and i know a lot of y'all already a lot of y'all already thinking like alex man fuck that i'm not doing that and just just hear me out for a little bit so yeah, like a cold shower, it's tough, right? It's uncomfortable, but it's something I've been doing now for the last six months since August, since I started my second year at the University of Miami. And it's been one of the greatest decisions I've actually made because doing something every single morning, bright and early, when I'm one, tired, I like getting up, it's like uh, another day of school. But like, you gotta embrace that shit, right? Instead of crying, instead of like, instead of like whining, like kidding that students, just get after it. So that's the first step, right? But when I take that cold shower in the morning, I cleanse myself with the warmer water, like lukewarm. Don't want it crazy hot because that's not good for your skin or anything like that. But what I do is I is I uh, start warm and then I clean my skin, do my hair, everything good, right? And then for the last like three minutes, I turn that shit ice cold, turn that knob to frigid. And it's uncomfortable to start, right? But at this point in my life, it's actually my favorite part of the morning. I embrace that shit. It's like, it's like I'm in the shower, right? Enjoy myself. And uh, I go one, two, three, turn that switch, go underwater. And like, it's a little tough at first, right? You might have to cleanse the teeth. It's a little tough, right? But doing that every single morning has made me so much more on top of my shit. You know, doing something every morning that makes me uncomfortable, I feel like I get an edge on people because everyone's taking their warm shower in the morning before school. I'm taking my cold shit. That separates me because again, I don't want to be average, so I can't be average. I got to do things that the average person is not doing because I got extraordinary things on my plate. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing I do. And the second thing I wanted to tell y'all is that I actually, when I wake up in the morning, I actually don't go on my phone for the first, you know, hour of my day. I got 8 a.m. classes, I wake up at 6, and uh, actually 7.15 is when I turn it on. So I got uh, 75 minutes in the morning without my phone, and all I got in the morning is my routine, my shower, winning, start my day winning with that cold shower because I know I'm getting ahead, beating other people out. But by not going on my phone, it's been one of the greatest things I've done because in the morning, whenever you go on your phone, it's like you're consumed with whatever you are met on your phone. And a lot of times it might be something negative. It might be someone didn't text you back. It might be your team lost. It might be, you know, you saw something you didn't want to see. And whenever that happens, gee, it's like, that's gonna affect your mood for the morning because it's gonna be the first thing you're met with and that's gonna go on for the rest of the day. Compared to when you, when you just start your morning with just you, you start with your cold shower, you start with that good mood, that good energy. It's like, you're gonna be winning to start the day, so no matter what, that whatever you're met with on your phone, it's like, you're gonna be winning, so that you're, that's the shit's not gonna phase you, you know what I'm saying? So, not going on my phone in the morning and taking a cold shower, along with a healthy breakfast, it's made me unstoppable. My morning routine is something I truly look forward to every single day, and it was tough as fuck at the start, but because I stuck with it, because I started doing that shit every single day, it became light work, it became an afterthought, and it just translates to other parts of life that were once uncomfortable, it's like, now that shit's easy. It's like, it's taking a step back, it's like, wow, like that shit used to be hard, but now it's pretty easy because I'm challenging myself. I'm challenging myself every single day, and that's one thing you fellas gotta do every single day. You know, it might be eating, you know, choosing a salad instead of that fries. It could be something simple like that. It could be instead of, you know, doing leg press, it could be squatting because you know that's harder for you, but it's gonna be a little bit better for you because it's, it's harder for you. It makes you stronger as a person. Man, it's like, people always skip leg day, and that's crazy to me because I've never skipped a leg day in my entire life because yeah, it's tough as fuck. Like sometimes I don't want to. I'd rather just pump the chest up, pump the arms up, pump the delts up. But doing that, it makes you stronger as a person. And not only that, it's actually been proven that squatting is like the number one exercise for raising tests, like natural testosterone. So you want to be more on top of your shit as a man? You got to squat, G. But it doesn't just boil down to that. It boils down to you doing things that make you uncomfortable. Yeah, legs are tough, but how good does it feel when you're done? How good does it feel when you're sitting down after your leg day, eating your post-workout meal, and you just know you you ran shit up, you challenge yourself. 
well everyone skips leg day goes back to the same shit it's like nah that's not that's not that's not that's cutting it short you never get gratification from 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 going for the easier route the harder route is what makes you happier in the long run because you had to persevere through that shit people skip leg day it's not even just about that too it's like I like mixing it up because once you mix it up, because I hit the legs, it makes me appreciate chest more, makes me appreciate delts more, back more, biceps, triceps, all that stuff. You gotta get more uncomfortable, G. Life is way too easy, but it can also be really hard because you're not doing anything that makes you uncomfortable. You're living in the comfort zone. Man, nothing ever grows in the comfort zone. You heard it before, and I'll say it again, nothing ever grows in the comfort zone. You want extraordinary things, you can't do average things in life, G. I'm on fucking vacation right now with my family in Hawaii and I'm recording three videos tonight. How bad do you really want it? How bad do you really want it? Because if you want it bad enough, you will find a way. You know, life is like a tunnel. When you go into a tunnel, it's dark as fuck. And you want to turn back because you see the light at the end you just came in from. It's easy to go back. You know what's hard? Going through that tunnel. Going through the darkness. You're in that point where it's dark. It's like, I don't know where to go. You keep pushing. You start to see that light. You get to the light, you reach it, and you're gonna think to yourself, man, look what I just did. Because you gotta give yourself a pat on the back. You gotta hype you up, because no, no, you're, no one's your hype man except you. No one cares about you except you. That's real sad, I know. No one cares about you're, whether you're winning, whether you're thriving, whether you're mad, depressed, happy, have anxiety, except you. But the more you put yourself in that uncomfortable place, you're gonna be winning in life, gee, life's about to be a movie. If you do things that are hard every single day, what's gonna be hard anymore? Nothing. And when you get to something hard, it's like, man, that's just light work. Man, I do this. I do shit like this every single day. You gotta, you gotta get out of the comfort zone and start doing shit that's actually hard. You think it's easy, like, like bulking five thousand calories a day? That's what I'm on right now. Nah. You think it's easy when I'm cutting two thousand calories, trying to get dice, trying to get chisel for the summer? Nah. But you gotta look at what you're working for. And it might be tough through the process, but you gotta keep your eyes focused on the bigger picture. Cause that's what you're working for. It's tough in the middle and that's what most people turn back. A ship's not meant to be at the port, it's meant to be out at sea. So why are you turning back? You're meant to do great things in life, G. You're meant to do things that you said you couldn't work towards greatness, achieve greatness, become someone people look up to, people truly admire. So become that person. <coughs> The only person holding you back is you. So look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do you want out of life? You want something bigger? You want to do something that people aren't? Or do you want to be like the rest? Question is only for you to answer.